Well, it just came out of Mike Johnson's mouth, so I guess you can say it's kind of official. So uh, Mike Johnson said that if Iran strikes Israel in any way, which Iran has been telling its neighbors to prepare, they're about to strike Israel, that America is going to war with Israel. We are sending over 16 to 24 F-22s this afternoon. We've already sent over war. We sent over two destroyers yesterday. Well, two destroyers were on their way yesterday to the Red Sea. And then we already sent like three fleets over there. Uh, and so I guess next now is just waiting to see if Iran follows through with the threat. Um, again, Iran has been warning its people to get out of certain places. They have uh, warned their neighbors they're, they're going to do this. Um, so, yeah. And it appears that uh, Saudi Arabia told Iran that they weren't going to let any of their missiles and stuff fly through their airspace. But Jordan and Egypt said they are not going to block anything that is heading to Israel. So, yeah, there's that. Shalom, shalom. Before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise to our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, that believe wholeheartedly in the true doctrine that is being pushed throughout the four winds of the earth, who are in hope of mercy in salvation during the time of Jacob's trouble as well as when Yahweh Shai returns to the planet Earth. All right. And what you just saw was two clips that I got from uh uh TikTok. One was uh this guy by by the channel of uh Well it just Harley Jackson. He uh that was uploaded a day ago. And then this one was from, I believe this is a, 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 a Iranian soldier, which this was uploaded um, back in May. So this isn't a recent um, uh, video, but as we remember back in April, they did the retaliation uh, bombarding of the missiles on Israel. And this was, you know, them showing their show of force back then. Um, so now here we are in the month of August, all right, which is May, June, July, all three months later, all right. And the tensions have, haven't gone anywhere, all right. They've actually been heightened. And Iran has vowed for a... Uh, uh, a retaliation for the death of their Hamas and Hezbollah leaders, okay? As you can see here in the picture, all right? Which this is all uh, pr uh, pr uh, provoke pr provocation on part of Israel and America, all right? They want this war with Iran. And Lord will, by the end of this video, you will see that. And ultimately, what you'll see is that this is what the scriptures, the Holy Bible calls for. All right. This is what Bible prophecy calls for. This is why this thing is getting uh, hot. It's heating up the way it is. All right. And it's, and it's going to continue to get worse and worse. We're still 
uh, waiting for Iran's response. And their response more than likely will be greater than what it was back in April. All right. Um, <clears throat> so as we read here. Uh, U.S. and Israel preparing, preparing for imminent Iranian attack. All right. It says the United States and Israel are preparing themselves for a major attack by Iran in retaliation for the assassination of Hamas and Hezbollah leaders. As Israel is bracing for an imminent attack, the U.S. has sought to revive the multinational coalition against Iran in the Middle East. All right. Which this was formed back in April. All right, here's the receipts on it, all right? April uh, 14, 2024, Israel proposes international coalition against Iran, all right? And here's the details, okay? And like I said, this has been in the works for decades. This ain't something that just uh, sprung up, all right? This has been in the works. They've been wanting uh, this war with Iran, all right? And I believe this is the time where they're going to get it, all right? But it's not going to end um, the way they want it to, all right? Because this is biblical prophecy. All right, let's go down. Let's read a little bit. It says, the assault is anticipated to begin on Monday, Axios has reported, all right? <clears throat> Which Monday has passed and nothing has happened. But there's still, uh, you know, the gathering of the troops, as the scriptures call uh, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, Armageddon or Armageddon. All right. The mountain of the troops, the troops are being mounted up and headed over to this region. OK. Um, it says, according to two unnamed U.S. officials, General Michael uh, Corilla, the head of U.S. Central Command, has arrived in the region for a pre-planned visit that will likely focus on efforts to mobilize the same broad international and regional coalition that defended Israel from a previous Iranian attack in April. All right, and that's what you know what I just said. Um, reports tensions in the Middle East have reached the boiling point in recent days after Iran accused Israel of killing Hamas political leader Ismail Hanaya in a bombing in Tehran, while Israel has neither confirmed nor denied orchestrating the hit. It did admit to eliminating Hezbollah leader Faou Shakur in Beirut, who is said was responsible for an attack on a soccer field in the in the Golan Heights that killed 12 minors, all right? It says, with the, Iran promise, with, the, with the Iran promising to retaliate, the Israeli military has been put on high alert in the U.S. and the U.S. Its main ally has increased its presence in the region, all right? Biblical prophecy, and we're going to read it, all right? It says, Axios sources suggested that Iran's attack will follow the same playbook as in April when Tehran launched a retaliatory strike on Israel in response to what claimed was West Jerusalem's bombing of its consulate in Syria. That assault involved hundreds of drones and missiles, but Israeli officials insisted the damage was minimal. At the same time, Officials told the outlet that the upcoming strike could be more massive and involve Hezbollah forces in Lebanon, adding that they do not know whether Iran and Hezbollah will conduct coordinated or separated strikes. They also said they believe Tehran and Hezbollah are now finalizing their plans, which must be approved to the highest political level. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden administration is reportedly concerned that Washington and West Jerusalem will find it much more difficult than in April to rally a coalition to repel an Iranian attack. As the tensions caused by the Hanaya's, Hanaya's assassination are directly linked to the Hamas-Israel war, as fighting rages in Gaza, Israel has 
come under heavy flack for its operation in Palestinian enclave, uh, which has resulted in unprecedented destruction and the deaths of thousands. All right. So that region is hot over there. All right. That region is hot and that's where the Lord is gathering these troops. All right. And I got a couple more things I want to show you. And then we're going to uh, pull up the scriptures. Now, this was on Redacted uh, yesterday. All right. Now, this is a portion of the, the show yesterday that uh, 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 Clayton, um, you know, clipped out of the, 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 the live stream that he did. And this is an ex-CIA agent um, explaining... Uh, uh, what really took place or what is taking place, all right? So let's listen. Israel serves schizophrenia. Let me back it up. Salakia. Well, thousands of sailors and soldiers, American sailors and soldiers, are being sent towards Israel in preparation for World War III, which could happen at any moment. A coming war with Iran that, of course, uh, Israel desperately wants. Benjamin Netanyahu has told us many times in front of Congress. And what you're going to find out is not just Israel desperately wants, but the U.S. definitely wants, which ultimately the elite bankers desperately want. All right. You got to understand that the, the uh, America is the tip of their spear, all right? Their military might, all right? This is why you have over 800 American bases spread throughout uh, the entire planet, all right? They're the tip of the spear of this elite um, banking um, military, which is the beast in the form of NATO, okay? He desperately wants the United States to take out Iran, as we've done in Libya and Iraq. Iran was the third one on his list that he wants us to do that. So should Americans die for Israel's war against Iran? Are we about to see a massive false flag operation that would harm American soldiers? Former CIA agent Larry Johnson joins us now. Um, he has been outspoken on this from the very beginning, that Americans should not be involved in this and we should not be there. And he joins us now. Larry, great to see you. It seems like we're, we're on the precipice. Yeah, we, we, we're, we're, we're staring World War III in the face. Uh, this is alarming. Uh, the, the movement of U.S. forces uh, that's underway tells you that this is the movement of these forces is not a reaction to what happened. It is <clears throat> it was pre-planned. In other mm. words, because it was pre-planned. He knows this. Now we're gonna come back to this. We're gonna go to this video. All right, which this is a 16-year-old video. All right, and this is another. Uh, I believe he's a four-star general of the uh of the army retired um wesley clark and this was a uh conference he was at the commonwealth club of california all right this aired going back to october of 2007 all right now according to what he's getting ready to say they've been behind on their plans all right and i'm sure uh brothers you know may have may remember what he's getting ready to say all right but um they've been planning on taking over taking taking down iran for a long time all right and now we're we're here at the at the cup of it all right we're at the cup of it to where this thing is getting ready to blow over because we are in that time the lord has, has uh brought these things to fruition all right where everything is on the place see going back to 07 we didn't have the talks of the MOTB the way they are. We didn't have COVID, you know, right? They didn't shut down the world. They didn't have other plans that they needed in place for this to happen. But now they have everything in place for it to happen, all right? They have everything in place for it to happen. They, 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 uh, you know, before it does happen, though, you will, we will have a mandate of the MOTB, which is going to come in the form of the RFID microchip, 
which is the MOTB. All right. And we're going to have this uh, another lockdown that's going to make 2020 look like a walk in the park. All right. And, you know, I ain't going to get into that portion of it. I just want to focus on this war portion. Um, Lord will. Um, I'll get into that in a uh, in another video. All right. But everything is all lined up. OK. On all levels to where they can actually go now. All right. So let's listen to this real quick. And at 9-11 is we didn't have a strategy. We didn't have bipartisan agreement. We didn't have American understanding of it. And we had instead a policy coup in this country, a coup, a policy coup. Some hard-nosed people took over the direction of American policy and they never bothered to inform the rest of us. I went through the Pentagon 10 days after 9-11. I couldn't stay away from Mother Army. I went back there to see Don Rumsfeld. I'd worked for him as a White House fellow in the 1970s. All this is in the book. And, um, and I said, am I doing okay on CNN? He said, yeah, 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 fine. He said, uh, I'm thinking about it. He says, I read your book. And uh, he said, uh, this is a book that talks about the Kosovo campaign. And he said, I just want to tell you, he said, nobody's going to tell us where or when we can bomb. Nobody. He said, I'm thinking of calling this a floating coalition. What do you think about that? I said, well, sir, uh, thanks for reading my book. And, uh, well, uh, he said, thanks. That's all the time I've got. Really? And... Um, I went downstairs, I was leaving the Pentagon, and an officer from the Joint Staff called me into his office and said, I, I want you to know, he said, sir, we're going to attack Iraq. And I said, why? He said, we don't know. He said, uh, I said, well, did they tie Saddam to 9-11? He said, uh, no. He said, but um, I guess it's they don't know what to do about terrorism, and so uh, the, it, they, they think, but they can attack states. And they want to look strong, and so I guess they think if they take down a state, it will intimidate the terrorists. And, you know, it's like that old saying he said, if the only tool you have is a hammer, then every problem has to be a nail. Well, and this is why the scriptures call Babylon the hammer of the earth, all right? And that's recorded in Jeremiah, the uh, 51st chapter, in the 23rd verse, all right? Matter of fact, we'll read that real quick, bring in the scripture. Okay. But the hammer isn't broken down yet, but it's about to be. All right, Jeremiah 51 and 23. I'm sorry, not 51, 50. Let's go back. <clears throat> Jeremiah 50. Yeah, and 23. All right. It says, how was the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How was Babylon become a desolation among the nations? And this is what's going to happen to Babylon, a.k.a. America. All right. Babylon the Great. All right. This is the hammer of the, the whole earth. All right. This is why they're sending uh, military um, vessels and, and uh, uh, troops over to that region now. All right. Because this has been a part of their plan, which ultimately is the Heavenly Father's plan on the left-hand side, to gather these nations so he can sit and judge them, okay? But as you heard him just say, uh, uh, let's back it up just a little bit, Salakia. Well, I walked out of there pretty upset. And then um, we attacked Afghanistan. I was pretty happy about that. We should have. Wait a minute. Let me back it up just a little bit, just so we can get that point. Well, I walked out of there like that old saying he said, if the only tool you have is a hammer, then every problem has to be a nail. If the only tool you have is a hammer, then every problem has to be a nail. All right? And he's referring to the American military, all right, as being the hammer. And all these nations that they want to conquer as being nails, all right? And this is why I read uh, Jeremiah 50 and 23, all right? Now, remember, this is going back to 07, okay? Let's listen to a little more. Well, 
I walked out of there pretty upset. And then um, we attacked Afghanistan. I was pretty happy about that. We should have. And then I came back to the Pentagon about six weeks later. I saw the same officer. I said, why, uh, why haven't we attacked Iraq? We still going to attack Iraq? He said, oh, sir. He says, it's worse than that. He said, um, he pulled up a piece of paper off his desk. He said, I just got this memo from the Secretary of Defense's office. It says we're going to attack and destroy the governments in, in seven countries in five years. We're going to start with Iraq, and then we're going to move to Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and Iran. I said, seven countries in five years. I said, is that a classified memo? He said, yes, sir. I said, well, don't show it to me. He was about to show it to me. He said, because I want to talk about it. And I, I... As you heard them, they wanted to take down seven countries in five years. Now, this is going back to 07, all right? Here we are in 2024. You don't think that they've uh, come up with the schemes and, and, and what it is they need to do to take over these regions that they talked about? And the main region that they want is Iran, all right? And this is where we are now. We see it all over uh, mainstream media. All right, you see it on mainstream media and, and you definitely see it on alternative media and social media. We see it, all right? This is the time. This is it. This is the time that we have been waiting for, all right, where this war is getting ready to jump off. Now, I'm going to let him talk a little more because what he's getting ready to say is that this when he heard this, it reminded him of a conversation that he had back in 1991, all right? And an uh, 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 officer above him uh, said the same thing about taking over that uh, Middle East region and taking over Iran, all right? So just, just bear with it, all right? But this is just receipts showing you that, that we here, man, all right? The Most High has brought these things to pass, and we are here. All right, it ain't no, ain't gonna be no more, much more talking. All right, they have already uh, provoked, um, or sent provocations on assassinating these different uh, uh, leaders of that of those Arab uh, uh, nations. All right, those, or should I say, uh, Muslim nations? All right, because you got that's uh, uh, Elam. All right. And then you got the surrounding Ishmaelites, all right? Okay? The, the provocation has already been made with the assassination of their, of their leaders, of Hamas and uh, Hezbollah, all right? As we read in that first article. So let's let, I'm going to let them uh, talk a little bit. Then we're going to go uh, pull up some scriptures and then we're going to go back to the other video on Redacted, all right? I've had on this information I, for a long time, for about six or eight months. I, I was so stunned by this, I couldn't begin to talk about it. And I couldn't believe it would really be true, but that's actually what happened. Uh, these people took control of the policy in the United States. And, I and what he's talking about these people, he's talking about the unseen uh, government that, takes, that has taken over the power, which are the, the elite bankers, all right? These top ranking military men and officials they do nothing but take orders okay orders come from on high that's is why he said well why why are we going to attack iraq all right okay realized then it came back to me a 1991 meeting i had with paul wolfowitz you know, in 2001, he was Deputy Secretary of Defense, but in 1991, he was the Under Secretary of Defense for Policy. It's the number three position in the Pentagon. And I had gone to see him when I was a one-star general. I was commanding the National Training Center. I had met him one time. He said, if you ever get to Washington, come look me up. They always say that. Well, I was there in Washington. It was a Friday afternoon. I'd visited Colin Powell. He'd given me five minutes of his precious time and sent me on my way, and I was bored in the Pentagon. And, and I thought, I'll just go. Who can I see? I'll, I think I'll see Wolfowitz. So I called and up there he was available scooter libby came to the door i met scooter for the first time and he brought me in and uh i said to paul i said and this is 1991 i said mr secretary you must be pretty happy with the performance of the troops in, in desert storm and he said uh, 
Well, yeah, he said, but but not really, he said, because the truth is we should have gotten rid of Saddam Hussein and we didn't. And this was just after the Shia uprising in, in March of 91, which we had provoked and then we kept our troops on the sidelines and didn't intervene. And he said, but one thing we did learn, he said, we learned that we can use our military in the region, in the Middle East, and the Soviets won't stop us. He said, and we've got about five or ten years to clean up those old Soviet client regimes. Syria, Iran, Iraq, before the next great superpower comes on. And he, this is back in 91, okay? 1991, he, this, this uh, is what he's talking about, this conversation he was having. The challenges. So, they, they, so they've been behind in schedule, which really the Most High has kept them behind. But now, all right, things are getting ready to uh, escalate to the point of this World War III and all hell breaking off, uh, breaking loose in Babylon the Great and around the world, all right? Everything is here at, its, uh, uh, at the head. Everything's getting ready to happen. And it was like, you know, I'm coming out of the Mojave Desert. I've been training troops. I haven't been thinking geo-strategy for some time. And suddenly a guy just sort of shoves this nugget at you. Well, you remember it. It was a pretty stunning thing. You mean the purpose of the military is to, to, to start wars and change governments? It's not to sort of deter conflict? We're going to invade countries? And, I, 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 you know, my mind was spinning. And uh, I put that aside. It was like a nugget that you hold on to. This country was taken over by a group of people with a policy coup. Wolfowitz and Cheney and Rumsfeld and you could name a half dozen other collaborators from the Project for a New American Century. They wanted us to destabilize the Middle East, turn it upside down, make it under our control. It went back to those comments in 1991. Now, did anybody ever tell you that? Was there a national dialogue on this? Did senators and congressmen stand up and denounce this plan? Was there a full-fledged American debate on it? Absolutely not. And there still isn't. <laughs> and, there's, and there won't. There won't be a debate about it because this is the plan of the Heavenly Father. Okay? And America has been that uh, crash dummy for the elites, so to speak. All right, and they're about to crash out this last time, which is going to result in the total annihilation of this landmass, right along with the landmass of Israel. All right, only difference between the two is that Israel will be built back up, America will never be built back up. All right, so let's listen to a little more. All right, that's why we're failing in Iraq. Because Iran and Syria know about the plan. Or all right. Iran and Syria know. All right. In, 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 in prophecy, Iran sp uh, especially. This is why you have Russia and Iran uh, uh, as partners. All right. Right along with Syria. This is why Ezekiel the 38th chapter is written. See, the Most High is the ultimate chess player, baby. He has these nations. He's moving things around on the uh, chessboard of the planet Earth. He's moving these nations around to bring forth his word, to bring forth what he said was going to happen. Okay? What have to do is read the, the, the weekly standard and, and listen to Bill Crystal, and he blabbermouths it all over the world. Richard Pearl the same way. They could hardly wait to finish Iraq so they could move into Syria. It was like a lay down. Oh, our legions are going to go in there. This wasn't what the American people voted George Bush into office. Well, they didn't actually vote him into office, but it wasn't what many of the people who... It wasn't what he campaigned on. He campaigned on a humble foreign policy, the most arrogant foreign policy in American history. He campaigned on no peace keeping no nation building and here he is with afghanistan and iraq it's astonishing so 
the root of the problem is not how many troops are in Iraq. Please believe me. Don't be mad if you're a Democrat at your Democratic congressman because they can't reduce the troops and frustrate the president. That's not the issue. And if you're a Republican, don't be mad at the Democrats because they're fussing with the troops. Whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, if you're an American, you ought to be concerned about the strategy of the United States in this region. What is our aim? What is our purpose? Why are we there? Why are Americans dying in this region? That is the issue. And that goes back to 2007. All right? 2007. Now, let's listen. we ain't going to listen to this whole 11, but we're going to listen to what he's saying. All right? Because he's basically going to say the same thing, but in 2024. Army. Uh, the, the, the movement of U.S. forces uh, that's underway tells you that this is the movement of these forces is not a reaction to what happened. It is <clears throat> it was pre-planned. In other mm -hmm. words, because it, it, this is not like you you call up Domino's and order a pizza. Hey, you know I need a pepperoni in thirty minutes, and they whip it up and deliver it. First of all, you've got all these sailors and marines that have to be alerted to get on board ships. And those ships have to be stocked and supplied. They're not, they're not, some are sitting there ready to go, but some aren't if they're being, you know, if they've been out of the sea. So the, the fact that you've now got three carrier task force groups moving into that region, plus the, the one that caught my eye was the announcement that you had this <clears throat> marina. It's basically a marine expeditionary unit, what they call a MU. Uh, that's a package of about 4,000 Marines, and their job to do what they call non-combatant evacuation operations, so or a NEO, uh, you know, dump all the military acronyms on you. So we got the MU doing the NEO, and <clears throat> the NEO is there for, <clears throat> excuse me, um, people like in Lebanon or in Israel who can't get out because all the airports are shut. This will allow those ships to go in and load up American citizens and others wanting to flee the region. So, the, the, so that was pre-positioned. I mean, that's that's what caught my eye. That uh, I think that there, are, my own view is there's a preemptive war coming, and it's going to be struck by the West, not by Iran. Well, it's, um, we absolutely will be struck by the West. All right, because it's been in the works since going back to 1991 and more than likely before that all right it's been in the works matter of fact let's bring in another scripture go to the book of joel okay joel chapter 2 verse 20 and this is the heavenly father's uh you know plan all right and he's going to bring these nations over to this region. And this is where he's going to he's going to judge them. All right. And they've been, you know, like we heard uh, Wesley Clark say since 1991, they've been wanting this. And now they finally got it. All right. Now they can uh, 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 make do on their plans or they think they're going to make do on their plans. Uh, Joel chapter two, verse 20. It says, but I will move far off from you, the northern army, as you just heard this ex-CIA uh, agent explain how they have these couriers that were ready to go. All right. You know, they were already ready because the, pro the provocation that Israel, which they've denied it, but ha hasn't, uh, which they haven't denied it but having uh, claimed the lives of those two uh, leaders, the Hamas and the Hezbollah leader, all right? It says, uh, Joel 2 and 20 again, it says, but I will move far off from you, the northern army, and will drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face toward the East Sea, okay? And that East Sea is talking about uh, the Persian Gulf, Okay, 
because this is where they want to go. They want to go into Iran, all right? And this is what the talk is. This is what the war talk is. Israel and America are going to engage in war with Iran. And not only will it be Iran, it's going to be that whole region, all right? And that's pursuing the second Ezra, the 15th chapter, starting about the uh, 34th verse, I believe it is. I brought it out a while ago, a few videos back. All right. Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. Um, yeah, from the 28th verse, okay? It says, Behold, an horrible vision and the appearance thereof from the east, where the nations of the dragons of, the, of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. And this is why I played this video here. All right. Which he has a couple of these videos up. All right. Which, you know, this is, and this is just a small show of the force of, of, of Iran. All right. Now you got all those other Muslim nations surrounding Israel, they're going to come against that place. All right. They're going to, it's going to be a holy war over there, a big ass war. All right. And we're, we're just uh, looking at the beginning of it, the start of it. All right. Um, let me go back to that here in um, 2nd Ezra 15, 20, 29, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots and a multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Also, the Carmanians raging in wrath. And all you got to do is pull up a, a, a map. All right. Pull up a map in the land of Carmania. The ancient Carmanians is in the region of Iran. Okay. And I've done this before. We'll do it again. All right. Let's just see what it says. Carmania. There it is. Carmania is a historical region that approximately corresponds to the current province of Kerman, Iran, and was province of the Achmenid Seleucid. All right. So if we were to pull up a map. They show you right here. See if we can, oh, it ain't big enough. Okay, here we go. Right here, Carmania, which is what over here in where Iran is. This is what this is Iran right here. All right, now when we were reading in Joel two, it said with his face toward the East Sea, which is here, this Persian, the Persian Gulf right here. All right. So this is where this prophecy that's gonna bring in the. Uh, the war to end all wars is happening. It's taking place. All right. Meanwhile, you got guys that don't know what what the hell to believe, what gospel to uh, follow. All right. The true gospel is out there, man. All right. You don't see it playing playing out before your eyes. All right. Let's finish reading this uh, verse uh, thirty, and then we'll go back to uh, the. Uh, Joel, the second chapter. Also, the Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. And with great power shall they come and join battle with them and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. Because it's going to get real bad over there. All right. They vow. They've already said expect retali uh, retaliation. So we just waiting to see. All right, what type of retaliation? And America's already in the region waiting to see what type of retaliation. All right, they already on guard, waiting. And best believe Russia's on guard. All right. So going back to Joel 2 and 20. Um, 
It says, but I will move far from you, the northern army, and will drive him into a land barren and desolate. All right. Now, going back to this map. All right. This is the land that's barren and desolate where the Lord is gathering, going to bring uh, the northern army. All right. Okay. How do we know that? Let's read on. With his face toward the east sea. And his hinder part toward the utmost sea. So going back to that map. His face toward the east sea. All right. Which is here. The Persian Gulf. And his hinder part toward the utmost sea. Which is here. All right. As, as we uh, know. Is that now, back then it was uh, the, the uh, Arabian Gulf. But this is... Uh, Known as the uh, the Red Sea now, all right, okay. So this is where they're facing Iran, all right. So this this is about to pop, all right. It's about to pop. <clears throat> it says, uh, and his stink shall come up, and his ill savor shall come up, because he have done. Great things, meaning it's going to be a lot of dead bodies over in that region. A lot of dead American soldiers. This is why you have people. Should we send off U.S. soldiers to go die in the war? Well, you ain't got no choice. They going and they going to die over there. All right. So let's go back to this video real quick. We see this too. We also have reporting today uh, from uh, Dave DeCamp over at antiwar.com. Israel considering a preemptive strike <clears throat> against Iran. So this sort of preemption, this idea that they are going to attack and we need to be out in front of this. I think this is really scary for a lot of Americans who are familiar with false flag attacks. I felt like dusting off my my USS Liberty hat to wear for this oh, yeah. today. To remind yeah. Americans the last time in 1967 when U.S. sailors were sat right there and used as target practice, killed by Israel, attacked by Israel in order to draw the United States into a war against Egypt. Of course, your old organization, the CIA. And, the, and, and, and this, this man is, is known for doing that. All right. He causes these things to happen to get the reaction out of the people so that he can come with his solution. All right. He's he's known to, to uh, has been doing that. All right. He's been playing by the same playbook. All right. It's nothing different now. He's actively involved in that. Of course, we know. Uh, but so are we about to see another USS Liberty false flag operation using American soldiers and sailors sitting there on American aircraft carriers in order to draw us into a war against Iran. What is your sense of that? Or because we're calling it yeah, out, I, maybe we I, won't have it happen. <clears throat> so much a false flag as it is that um, it, Israel sort of schizophrenic, uh, not schizophrenic, uh, politically, militarily. On, on the one hand, they carry out this pre-planned assassination of uh, uh, the lead negotiator in Tehran. So it, it's, it's a clear violation of international law. It's a terrorist act. That's what it is. If, if Iran had done that to Israel, we'd be calling it international terrorism. So let's call it what it is. It was a terrorist attack by Israel. And Israel's been guilty of several terrorist attacks in Iran. But we just don't call them that. Plus, the United States has been backing a group called the MEK, the Mujahideen al Qaq, who is uh, M-E-K. Uh, they were on our terrorist list when I was working the issue. You know, they were sort of a Marxist, it sounds crazy, a Marxist Islamist group, but they were radical against uh, the, the Shia is, uh, Islamists that took over Iran. We, back, we, we took them off the list and started giving them money, for God's sake. So we back terrorists in the United States. So here it is, Israel conducts this terrorist attack, and then Iran says it's going to retaliate, and then Israel goes, well, by God, we're going to preempt that retaliation. So you're tr they're trying to play the victim while they're also the aggressor. Uh, they're both in this case. So I'm going to just, you know, you can go finish the rest of that. And we'll, you know, get some more scriptures. And that's exactly what's happening. All right.
they're trying to play the victim and also being the aggressor, which is going to uh, cause this thing to, to jump off. For a while off. now, I've encouraged Americans to protect their savings with physical gold from birth. So, okay, let's end this up with uh, Jeremiah, the 49th chapter. All right. And the 20th verse. All right. Prophecy against Edom. All right. Because the least of the flock, which are all those small hatters. All right. The, is the state of Israel. All right. They're the ones that's going to bring all these nations out. All right. Now, if they do a, a, a preemptive strike before Iran strikes, it's definitely going down. All right. But the point being is we are here. All right. They're, they're counseling flights. They're telling citizens not to fly and go to certain regions because that's the alarm. It's about to go down. So if you're in those regions and you're from uh, Iran, all right, or if you're from America, you need to, you know, they're they already putting out memos, all right? I've seen uh, at least two articles on that, all right? Uh, French were telling their... Uh, their uh their uh matter of fact when you go to the people's voice i believe it was france um telling their citizens to uh flee from those regions let me just get that real quick so you can so i can show you the receipts okay i'm gonna go back a couple There's so much going on, man. All right? So much going on. Where is that at, man? I know I've seen it. I think it's on the second one. We'll see. If it ain't here, then it's got to be further. Look, here we go. U.S. and U.K. likely to be drawn in, all right, as Iran prepares to retaliate against Israel. And this is what we're getting ready to read in um, Jeremiah, the 49th chapter, all right? So let me, I think it's up further, all right? I'm going to find it real quick. Real quick. So um, if it ain't on this next page, then we're just going to go back to the uh, scripture. All right. I mean, you see the articles. Okay. Is Iran Supreme Leader says Israel will be severely punished for killing Hamas chief, all right? What was that other one? Iran orders direct attack on Israel, all right? So they, they provoked them, all right? And this is why you have the U.S. moving into that region. Man, I know I've seen this uh, France article. No, I've seen it, man. There it is. France tells citizens to leave Iran as soon as possible. All right? So the memo has, has, has gone out. All right? And if France is telling their citizens, you got uh, other nations telling their citizens to get the hell out of that region because it's about to go up. All right? So going back to Jeremiah 49 and 20. All right, it says, therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Edom. All right, 
Edom are them small hatters, all right? Uh, the the U.S., you know, the, 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 the power structure, all right? The beast system, Edom, all right? Their, their, their power structure. The nation of Edom, the Lord has... Uh, uh, has counsel taken out against these these devils all right and his purpose that he had proposed against the inhabitants of teman surely the least of the flock shall draw them out surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them and we just saw that in uh where is that one i i read it um that they were going to be drugged into it let me see Probably this one, France, Kamala. I just read it. We'll see. <clears throat> There it is there. UK, US and the UK likely to be drawn in, okay, as Iran prepares to retaliate against Israel. This is what we're reading. The least of the flock shall draw them out, okay? So before these devils had it in their plans, the Most High had it written down thousands of years ago, all right, for these things to take place as we're, as we're watching them, all right? Okay, it says, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall. At the cry, the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. Behold, he shall come up and fly as an eagle and spread his wings over Basra. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. And this is ultimately when it goes down. All right, when the Lord get them to warm with one another, and then uh, the Lord send Yahweh Shai to destroy their ass over there in the Valley of Decision. All right, going back to Joel the third chapter. All right, where the Lord has gathered these nations uh, to fight. All right. And this is what this is what we're seeing. They're being gathered. For this purpose, Joel 3 and 9, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all men of war draw near, let them come up, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears, let the weak say I am strong, assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about, thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord, all right? Let the heathen be wakened and come to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. And that's what's happening. All right. That is what's getting ready to happen over there. They, they're getting ready to lock horns. Russia's going to be there. All the nations will be there. And then Yahweh Shai is going to come and judge them. All right. By destroying them. All right, put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down, for the press is full. The fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. All right, and this is where we see going out, going down, playing out in the planet Earth right now, where the Lord is gathering these nations so that he can judge them. For the controversy of Zion. So with that, Lord will, this was edifying. I know I went a little long and was kind of all over the place. But, um, you know, it's here, you know. The prophecy that the prophecies that we have been waiting to come to pass are here at, at the front door. All right. 
and it's only going to continue to get worse for the world, but it's in our favor, us hopeful members of the elect. So call Halal, Yahweh Ba, Shimei, Shai, and we on to the next video. Shalom.